Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Dude in My Gaming. Today's video Arbiter Specs and Breakdown. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Would you like to continue? Oh my god, you? talk louder, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Would you like to continue forward, Chepa, with your amazing voice work right now? Um. Alright, so. <laughs> moving forward. Uh, so Halo Waypoint has actually gotten some cool nitty gritty on the Arbiter coming to Killer Instinct. Obviously, we should have seen this coming. Um, we did see this coming. <laughs> it was in our September. Prediction. Yeah, it was in our predictions video. We predicted before anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they uh, they did talk about a little uh, some cool little things about the Arbiter, specifically a lot about his costume. You basically be like any version of the Arbiter or like an Elite. Yeah, for those of you who are Halo fans and thinking about picking up Ki, you can be like the Halo Two Arbiter. You could be like anniversary edition version. He yeah. looks exactly yeah. the same. Oh, hey, hey. Better, would you would you want to look graphics. like a hundred twenty eight bit version or <laughs> the much, high res version? I'd much, <laughs> dude, honestly, I'd much rather look like it from Halo Two <laughs> because that would be amazing. Just like Rash, get an eight bit version of Rash. That's right? all I want is an eight bit version of Rash. <laughs> but but yeah. no, and then you can play as you know the combat, which is like the gold elites. You remember them from like Halo One and Two, the golden elites, the Rangers. Yeah, the Ranger. Those are from Halo 4. They're the ones that kind of like fly around and annoy you and one-shot you on Legendary. I like the Storm ones. The Storm one looks pretty cool. Yeah, the Storm, those are, uh, you know, those your, those typical, are your typical ones. Yeah, Halo 4 Elite. That's yeah, like what the Halo thing, like, I like, I style. like the general like standard issue. The Commander, he's a uh, Halo 3 art style. Halo 4 and 5 on here. I was pretty sure I thought he was in Halo 3. No, because Halo 3 was mostly Brute, so yeah, that's right. Zila. Zealot, 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 Zealot. That's Z your Halo Three right there. That's Z Lot. No. <laughs> That's Z Lot if I've ever seen it. The aesthetic. A lot of people use that in the multiplayer of Halo Three. We'll try and get pictures up for you guys so you can like see what these guys look like. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, so like basically the Arbiter is gonna have like all the customization options you could possibly want. That's what at least well, it sounds like. That's what I think his colors are gonna be like. Instead of like you switching from like a generic red, <laughs> green, blue, yellow, whatever. Like when you switch his colors, it's gonna be a completely different style of elite. Is that what it says? Oh, the, see, the yeah. article is really like. Like, like you, Dude, I'll, I'll if they're going to the give him nine colors <laughs> for each one of those armors, then that's guess, where all the yeah. money went. That's why we don't have more than three <laughs> stages. <laughs> I'll give you guys well, a link down below so you I'm can make your sure own I'm pretty sure Bungie would have just been like, or not Bungie, 343 would have been like, make, <laughs> make Arbiter all the costumes. <laughs> give him all the costumes. Give him all the <laughs> And options. they just were like throwing money at him just for the Arbiter. Though. So you're you're saying that when I pick, let's say, the Golden Elite, the Commander from Halo 1, and then I'm going to get nine color options or different color options I'm for said saying. Commander? I'm just I don't know. We'll no see. No way, dude. We'll this see. This is going to be like... They did talk about how they wanted to do like a, a color, a custom color option. You know, they did talk about it before. How, Maybe like, for his base costume. The one from Halo 5, the one that, like, everybody's seen in the trailer, but I don't think. But what's most important about this article they talk about on the, towards the very bottom is their specs. Hold on, do you, do you think you're going to have to, hold on, before we move on, do you think you're going to have to, like, when you're level 1, clearly you're like, going like, to get, like, the basic art. Right, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. you're going to have to unlock yeah, the rest. So, unlock so basically yeah. you're going to have Arbiter's, if you're saying it, if it's true about the colors, it's... But, now that I think about it, it's probably the best yeah. option. Color one's gonna be uh, Halo Five Arbiter. Right. Color two is gonna be the uh, the Storm Arbiter. Right. And then like you know, as, as you, you progress to level fifty, yeah, you'll you, get the you, different. You know, yeah. I'm guessing they'll go in order. So by who rank. would they deem worthy of level fifty Arbiter? Well, wouldn't it? Well, I the Commander, no. I think they would do Commander just because, like Maybe the the anniversary edition is just, is his retro. They said right. that the, yeah. the anniversary is going to be his retro. So yeah. that's that's not you know. I think they'll have a different color scheme for the base. I think you'll unlock the other ones. Maybe it'll go up to like let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and then the seven, eight, nine, or whatever will be like different color schemes for his. Or they rainbow. might not even do a seven, eight, nine. They might just keep it. 
Man, I want six. like some crazy <laughs> Killer Instinct color scheme on my Arbiter. Like <laughs> that, that level nine skin is always epic for every character. It might be like tribal or something. I don't know. Uh, It'd be cool. Yeah. What if he's naked? <laughs> naked. Like, have you seen Naked Arbiter in Halo yeah, yeah, 2? Yeah, that's so weird. weird. You know, he's yeah. so crazy looking. I want Naked Arbiter. <laughs> Level 9 is Naked Arbiter. But, okay, so the mm. most important thing out of this article, though, other than your customization options, is... Specs. Yeah. So we, they did give us a little bit of insight how the Arbiter is going to play inside the game. And as I was trying to, as I was trying to like get with Ridge when we first broke down the video... On um on his gameplay reveal, which I thought was completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think was wrong about it, Chipple? I forgot now. Oh, okay. How Let's is it? Going. How is it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. How is this game? How is this game? No, no, no. How is this game? Let's go, let's go. We were scared. right because I said that there he'd only you know Jose was like, oh, how many rounds in his carbines are you gonna have? And I like, said eighteen. Yeah, he said eighteen or something, and I was like, yeah, something like that. And like we were basically saying like. He's only going to have those 18 rounds. Yeah. And that's pretty much verified right in the breakdown. I yeah. see it. His game yeah, so, so okay, for Type 51 Carbine, go. for Type 51 Carbine, uh, holds 18 rounds of radioactive ammo and fires three shot bursts. I never knew so the that Carbine was radioactive. You have to shoot in threes every time. So that means you technically hmm. go on. only have six. Six shots. You only have six shots with, with this gun. Yeah, you, you six inputs. Yeah, you you only like, you throughout the whole round or game of that match, you only have six inputs. Yeah, right. It, it could continue, it continues on to say that once the magazine has been emptied, gunshots are replaced by melee attacks. I I just want to say that so you know, as a Halo fan. I never knew the carbine was radioactive, so that's <laughs> no, I'm a Halo nerd, man. So that's that's pretty cool. Well, no, I look I, I, like when we first talked about the breakdown, I wanted to research a little bit. That's why I was throwing out that number eighteen a lot. And yeah, apparently it's radioactive. So one thing I thought about is that yes, I think the carbine will do good damage, um, like you know, good like base damage well, if, you, if, you, if you hit you with it. But I think it'll do more white damage. Just think about it, like radioactive, it'll like yeah. burn you. It'll probably do white damage. He'll be. He'll probably be able to combo into it, so that's why they only give you so much, because it's going to be the fa- by far the fastest projectile, projectile in the game. The game. Like, yeah. If he hit, it's going to be so fast. I mean, and not only that, but there's more that we'll get to, right. but we'll yeah. bring it back. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, another thing I really want to talk about is that it's cool, you know, again, how... Uh, the guys at Island Galaxy are trying to stick to making all the characters unique because this basically makes Arbiter an inventory character. You have to manage inventory on him. Right. You know, his ammo and his grenades, and which we're going to get to in a little bit, uh, which is right now. And that's uh, his sticky, his plasma grenades. They're sticky anti-personal uh, plasma grenades that detonate after a three-second delay. Throwing distance can be changed by pressing forward or backwards. Grenades blast uh, can harm both players. Both, Both players. players. So yeah. don't stick somebody and walk up to them because you're going to get wrecked. Yeah, it's not like Orchids. Yeah, it's definitely not like Orchids where she is unfazed by those grenades. Uh, the Arbiter carries three grenades. Replacement grenades are salvaged over time. So, so what does what that do mean? You, you, what, to me, that means, you know, grenades are salvaged over time. So either two options they're just gonna magically reappear Re- every yeah, like, regenerate on their own i don't know it'll be a decent amount of time before they can because i'm sure people are going to be trying to spam the grenades uh, either that or maybe like it'll be like uh maya's daggers how when they fall she could pick them up maybe like three grenades will just like the grenades will randomly spawn on the map <laughs> Kind of like oh in Halo. You have to like, time out the spawns? <laughs> right. But you have to sit there for what, for 30 seconds, wait for them? What is this? No, like, you it's a to... minute, it's two minutes? No, you don't I must there. wait two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the no, will be like, over. Maybe they'll, they'll just spawn on the map, and then like you'll when you walk over it, you get one more. And, like They'll maybe. just spawn at random Or maybe points. it's like a special Move ender. Or, yeah. maybe but, ender. But you have to have the full maximum four, because if you just end it at two, right. then you're... Or there's like a little pip thing for him too, where it fills up after eat that specific ender or whatever. Because it does say salvaged. Yeah, salvaged. So it sounds like you have to do something. You to have get to do them. something to get it. I think yeah. they're. I still call for map spawns, man. I'm telling you, they're just gonna be on the ground randomly, and then like I think when you walk over them, like so the enemy player can just do what I used to do but with no. Maya and go all the way to the Check other side of the screen. Check it out, though. Here's the problem there. with that. What if there's two arbiters? 
Does oh, that mean uh-huh. that any of them can pick it up? Because that no, that, that right there is kind of like OP. It, it well, that sense. arbiter versus arbiter match is going to be crazy, man. There'll be <laughs> grenades <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like well, they don't go over whether or not the grenade will like if you can block it. Okay, I'm wait, no, I'm no, pretty no, sure you can no, block no, it. No, I'm pretty sure. No. Yeah, go on. What were you saying? I was talking to somebody in the message. Right before this. Okay. And they were saying how they believe is unblockable. And I can see why. Because cause I was like... I want to see... Because I brought it... Like, you know, I took a screen... I took a picture of your phone. I sent it to them. I was like, you know... You know, some Arbiter specs. And one of the dudes that plays Cinder... So, um, Swordsman. He was uh, he was saying... I'm pretty sure it's unblockable. And I, and I brought up the argument where it was like... Oh, I thought it was going to be like Cinder, you know? Like, it'll stick on to you, but you can block it. And then he brought up... A great argument saying there's only three. Like, that's... but if it's if it's unblockable, but th- this is what I this is what I was saying. We saw the we saw thunder getting staggered. What if while you're blocking you get staggered, which makes you a possibility to get in, and when you're not blocking or whatever, it's like a hard knockdown. It's just an automatic hard knockdown, yeah. so you can't combo after it. It's like you kind of but have to you take get that good damage. damage. Yeah. But there's only three. But again, now that the now that we know they can be salvaged, that changes how you how look at look at them now. Yeah. You know? If you can get more, that means it's going to be more than three definitive damage on your enemy. So there's two possible two possibilities. I just here. feel like if it's unblockable, it's blockable, or it's unblockable, and that's the staggered state. Is when you're trying to block. Well, it also it. depends where he is when you get staggered because the staggered is good, but it's not like you're staggered for that, like but three yeah, seconds. No, so that's if what he's I'm across saying. The map but he, he could still him. like he might have a way he could still get and he's mid range. Clearly, we saw no. his oh, range yeah, is insane. Oh, yeah. Because remember, it does so affect either, him too. It, either, if, he, if he's close enough, he can get staggered. Either a himself. setup, like a nice setup, grenade, staggered carbine, you get it. And then the carbine only yeah. has eighteen rounds. The carbine will help, yep. Which is actually six rounds, yeah. six shots, basically. Six shots, six yeah. Shots. Yeah. He's gonna be crazy. He's gonna be a crazy. But it, the he's article goes on. Setup. He's definitely a setup. Yeah, definitely character. a setup character. And like the article goes on saying, you know, energy sword. The arbiter carries a master crafted coveted energy sword, or the th- rich, Prophet's bane. Rich, <laughs> the Thel Vod- Vodims. Wait, what? The Thelvatoms. Thelvatoms, personal Thelvatoms, blade. Thelvatoms, yeah. personal blade. The Vicious Prophet's Bane. And that's obviously his energy sword. That's going to be his main way of attack. You know, do damage up close with people. You know, nothing nothing too special other than, you know, just being a weapon here, at least. And um, and then finally, <laughs> uh, Combat Evolves. Arbor can tack on a plasma grenade or fire his Type 51 carbine to deal additional damage after performing a throw. Energy sword strike or any ender. So, so yeah, if you do an ender and stick them, I feel like that kind of takes away the unblockable thing. I mean, it could be unblockable, but I I just I can't see I it don't being see unblockable it. I just because don't see it. look at Cinder's. It's gonna act a lot like Cinder's. Yes, yeah, Cinder has all the fucking balls he wants to throw at your face whenever he wants, but. There's Even no... though the arbiter has three, it's not like it's hard to stick somebody in Ki. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But then the other thing you have to look at is that with Cinder, he has an infinite amount of them, but if you do get hit by it, you know, what what happens afterwards? You don't get staggered, you don't, you know, there's not like... It launches you up in the air. No, launches. no, if you're blocking. Oh, if you're blocking, nothing, you just sit there. Yeah, but you know, but because the Arbiter only has three of them... They have to add, they, like, a little special something they to They have it. to, but... Maybe like, it'll stagger it you, but I just, I don't know. No, that, that's what I'm saying, if it's a combo ender... I'm pretty sure the time is reduced. Roll, yeah. So, it, you know, it's just like, you throw it and then it's like, you know, whatever. That makes sense. Maybe yeah. you're right. Because, but, it, but the be, thing is, like, and then, I'll and just then, say, and then, for now, I'll just say it's unblockable. And then, it's probably unblockable. And then on the I argument know, that you, you throw it after the ender, it has three seconds, the dude's gonna stay up, like, you know, be up again by the three seconds. And let's say it takes the whole three seconds. He just blocks it. Like, why Why would you do that? Like, why waste a grenade if he's just going to block it in the three seconds that yeah. he gets up? You're right. Yeah, I agree. Well, because that would be a terrible setup. Like, why would you waste a grenade if he's just going to block it? You want to you want to set it up so you can get in again and then do more damage. 
all the damage. Well, either way, like, we can see now that the Arbiter is definitely going to be, like, a big setup, like, projectile based character and that's something inventory 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 okay, type character you know? i forgot I was, what i was gonna say about the carbine when i said it was gonna come full so i go <laughs> what <laughs> were you talking about when we we're talking about the carbine i don't remember it's radioactive radioactive white damage i say it might do like some sort of white damage no but it was before that too but if you know another thing to take note from here is that they don't talk a lot about the invisibility which means it might be his instinct you know it looks like it is an instant cancel because... I think it's going to be a lot like Saber Wolf's instinct. Or maybe, maybe. I was thinking about this after we got home. In the game, Halo 2, and whenever you can play as the Arbiter, he he can go invisible, yes. But it's whenever he wants. And it's only for like... Five seconds or something. Less than that. Like three seconds. So maybe you need to get from one cover to the other and you just don't want to be seen because it's on Legendary and you'll die in three shots. So you just go invisible to get there real quick. Like, it's possible that that'll be his... Like, that'll just be his thing. Like, he can go invisible every few seconds, but it's only for a few seconds. Like, it takes like... In the game, it's like a good 30 to a minute recharge. It obviously won't be that. No, no. It would be reduced. Right. Yeah. So it's possible he'll be able to... Because in the trailer, he only goes invisible for about as long as he's invisible in the game. Well... So it's very possible he'll just... You know, when he's doing a combo, he can activate his invisibility and be able to, you know, try and hide one audible. But by the time he gets to the other audible, he'll be visible. Yeah, he'll be visible again. We'll see what happens with it, man. Um, they did say that they're going to talk about the full uh, Arbiter moveset soon. I don't know what that means. And, again, we still don't have a release date, which is agonizing because, literally, within this week, we're going to be entering March. So, uh, we'll I see still what happens. Think Tuesday, we're going to get a release date. Oh, Because the, the, the Microsoft conference... They're going to be talking about Windows 10, so they'll be like, well, here's some already, Windows 10 games, like Killer Instinct and all that, right? No, no, because what I'm saying is that conference already happened, but it's under embargo until Tuesday. So all the press has already been there, everybody's already been there, but because it's a press event, it wasn't streamed, anything like that. The embargo lifts on Tuesday. So Tuesday, I think, we'll get a release date. And it's even possible that on Tuesday, they'll be like, all right, we're going to give you all the Season 3 balance changes, but you're not going to get like the Season 3 characters, stages, all that good stuff until later on in the month. But we're going to let you guys toy around with the balance changes. And then they'll give us the Season 3 update without the characters and stages. And story and all that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll just come we'll see what now. happens like as soon as we find out something guys we'll definitely try to keep you in the loop you know because uh, we'll you're not going to have to buy season 3 to get the balance changes no you just get to buy it for the characters and right, like exactly. all that yeah. um, anything else before we, we before we cut out Halo 5 is coming to PC <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a possibility I don't I don't think so but Halo hey. 5 is coming to PC Phil Spencer somebody asked him and uh, it's coming to PC. All right. Chapo, anything else? I am sad I cannot remember what I wanted to say. Full circle. I did not complete my promise. Damn. Of the full circle. Damn. Let everyone down. Let everyone down. <laughs> it had something to do with the enders in the in the carbine. Maybe it'll be a uh, meter ender with the carbine. I don't know. Either way, people, it looks like... No, you know, that, that's not what I was going to say. Temple is hanging his head in shame, so he does feel bad about not sharing this valuable information with you. Once I see the video, I'll be like, I know! <laughs> I remember! Well, if you do remember, put it in the comment section below. And every, same thing with all you guys listening. You know, What do you think with this new information? Again, I'll include the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. Let us know what you think, what's going to happen with the Arbiter, and uh, how, how this new information affects what you thought. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Honestly, I want to just say he they're doing a really good job with him. Really, really good job. Trying to because, get everything that made the Arbiter the Arbiter. Right, exactly. And they've also managed to make like a new type of character. Because he's, he's an inventory character. You have to keep an eye on all your, your goodies and gizmos. Yeah, okay. One last thing on the grenades before we go. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Is this well, it? Was this the thing? It's either full-blown stagger no matter what you do. Right. Or it's stagger when you block and hard knockdown when you're 
Just you, we, you, you, I can see hard knockdown. No, but but the, like I'm just adding on a new opinion. Maybe, my my opinion that it's blockable is out the window. Though, it's when not. You get stuck it's in not Halo, you fly. I mean, it's not blockable. When you when you get stuck in Halo, you fly. So maybe yeah. if you don't stick, it'll bounce you up in the air, give you a lot of juggle opportunities. Yeah. Instead of a hard knockdown, you'll just go up. What if that grenade? If he hits you with it, it bounces you. It launches you towards the arbiter, giving you one more chance for one more ender for just that one additional piece of damage. And it's severely scaled down at that point. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. What if when you get hit with the grenade, you travel back to 1955? <laughs> 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 we gotta go back in time. All right. Thank you, everyone. Temple. Who are we? Two to my game. Oh. Tune in next time.